Uh, so this is just a a short update on how I'll be wiring the COBOL and the tortoise switch machines that I'll be using on the layout. Um, so to start with I just followed the wiring diagram that's given with the tortoise switch machine instructions and I went and just got um, any double pole double throw switch will work. I got a larger one just to uh, make it easier to solder onto and I wired up all those uh, switches there ready to be used on the layout and what I uh, am doing now is just testing each of the um, cobalt switch machines that I've got so I just rigged up uh, each of the switches um, and to the cobalt machine and just test each one one by one for the power source I'm using a 9 volt uh, it's just an old phone charger and I've got that plugged into the switch and then the switch just plugs uh, into the cobalt there and I've got it all powered up now so I'll just um, this is the last one to test so I'll just throw the switch and make sure it does what it's supposed to do that sounds good and I'll just do that a couple of times make sure it's uh, working correctly and that's it so that was the last cobalt. All the other ones I've tested, and I've just put a little tick on the box to indicate that they are working fine. These cobalt switch machines are really handy because uh, you don't need to solder to them. All you need to do is press down on these, and you can push the wires in, take them out. Uh, one thing I did do before putting the wires in is I just tinned the end of the wire so that when you do go to press it in you don't uh, have any of the wires fray off to the side and just create trouble for you later when I do put this on the layout I will be um, putting some shrink tubing over each of these connections just to make sure that they don't touch and create a short circuit you do want to before you do use the phone charger, even though it does say 9 volts, this one pumps out about 10 volts. So if you're using a higher voltage, say 12 or 14 volts, you want to double check that the output voltage is close to what it says, because if it's a lot higher, you might plug it into your switch machine and then the voltage may be too high and you might cook it. So it's a good idea to just check the uh what voltage you're getting